stop, I'm Spider-Man and I'll, and I'll kick your butt. Ah, Tobey Maguire is Spider-Man. Sling web, kicking butt. Who doesn't love this guy? Come on, look at this nerd. Look at this freaking dork over here. <laughs> love this guy. I gotta be honest with you. As much as I love this freaking guy, I do have a hard time overlooking the most frustrating part of this movie. Where did Peter Parker get that fancy costume? First of all, my heart now and forever will belong to Tobey Maguire. So, you know, forget Holland, forget Garfield, we're sticking to the original trilogy, the OG number three. These movies have everything. They have love, loss, they have an original song by Nickelback over the end credits. Okay, so earlier on in the movie, we see Peter wearing this costume uh, when he goes to the wrestling match. It's not great, it's not bad, but it's not great. But it's not bad. I mean, there's some advanced spray painting going on there. Peter Parker's a smart kid, so I'm sure he can handle something like this. But this? This costume is really nice. It's really good. And I don't understand how he went from one to, another, to this one. According to this wiki article, it's only a few months in between the death of Uncle Ben and Peter's high school graduation slash the creation of this suit. So I'm supposed to believe that somehow in between grieving his uncle and going to college and moving in with James Franco and flirting with Kirsten Dunst, somehow in between all of this, he learns how to become some awesome sewing man. I mean, look at this thing, right? You've got some pretty advanced stuff going on here. You've got stretchy fabric. You've got webby lines, web lines. You've got eye goggles uh, in the head. So let's step back to the real world for a second because this behind the scenes footage tells a totally different story. He designed his own outrageous outfit, hence the Spider-Man costume. We tested for four months various treatments of the costume. It took these guys four months with a whole team of people, professional people, to make this outfit. They used 147 different silk screens for this costume. I don't know what a silk screen is, but I'm impressed, and I think 147 is a lot. What, am I gonna look it up? So, to be fair though, we do, in the comics, every once in a while, see Peter Parker sewing up his costume, like in this frame. But I mean, look at the guy. He's <laughs> poking his finger with a needle. Such a dunce, right? This guy's such a nerd. Yeah, Peter sucks. <laughs> Look, I could stand here all day and tell you about all the different things that make me mad about this costume in this movie, but I'm not going to. Instead, I'm gonna do a little test. Now, I'm not very good at sewing, but I did make a pair of pajamas in seventh grade. I'd say I'm on the same level, if not better than Peter Parker. So, I'm going to, right here, in this void that I'm in, try to make my own Spider-Man costume. Uh, and I have a feeling it'll turn out pretty good. Well, this looks amazing. So I guess I've proven myself wrong. Look, maybe, maybe, maybe Peter Parker could make something that looks this good. But I kind of doubt it because he's a total nerd. You know, it's kind of cool being Spider-Man. All I need now is a radioactive spider, a quest to avenge my dead uncle, and uh, an original Nickelback song to go over the end credits, which are right now. Go out on the town to 